So let me catch you up quick on what I've done so far with my Inkscape splining. So this is Inkscape. Um, essentially what you do in Inkscape is you take your satellite overlay and let me zoom out. This should look familiar. Um, this is what you saw in uh, when I was working QGIS. So I captured my satellite image here. And all I'm doing at this point is just really tracing out shapes and all the attributes of the golf course, like my fairways, my bunkers. And you can see some of the areas that I've done that already. Um, you can see some water areas here, some fairways. In the end, this isn't the color they're going to be, okay? Imagine Inkscape. Well, imagine your whole course, well, not the whole course, but certain parts of it are like paint by numbers, except we don't have any of those shapes to paint by numbers yet. We have to create every single shape. So you think of a very complicated paint by numbers canvas. That's what I'm creating in Inkscape. Um, so you can see I've got T boxes, fairways. I still haven't create, traced out my rough. Um, but I'll show you the progress as this goes. And I, I probably have a couple hours into this so far because I'm a bit tedious. The bunkers are extremely tedious, okay? I have to trace out each one of these by hand. And let me just show you what that looks like quick. Um, I can do like a quick trace. So you can see here, if I've got something, I'm just tracing this out. Well, let me escape out of here and do this someplace that I don't have a bunker yet. So here we go. I'm gonna have to zoom into this bunker really close. You can see it gets a little blurry, so I have to take some liberties here. And I have to click around this bunker by hand and trace it out. And that's just a little bunker. And then I'm done. I can change the color of it, so make sure it's sand. And then I have to make sure I do some organization over here with keeping my holes straight and my overlapping stuff uh, correct. Uh, but that's the start, and I'll, I'll keep you posted on the progress.